Shout out to Mile High Media, man. It's your boy House Phone, man. From No Jumper. Mr. Disconnected. Mr. High Rollers, man. Whatever you want to. Mr. VS1's hanging off my neck. Mr. Uh, bust Down Stars on my wrist. Like, it's your boy House Phone. I got like 10 other things I got to go do. I appreciate y'all, man. Shout out to motherfucking Denver. Shout out to Denver to LA. Y'all know the fucking vibes. Thank y'all. Right here, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Hit so the like, comment, subscribe, man. Yeah. Shout out to my niggas, man. Let's fuck it. No jumpers popping. You kind of just getting started. At that time, were you thinking like, okay. Like, I guess, what was that moment you started taking no jumpers really seriously? And you're like, all right, I'm actually building a career out of this thing. Instead of like, or was it? St are you still pretty focused on like the rapping and stuff at the time? Like, I mean, I can't but, say that I haven't dropped any music in like like two years almost. So yeah, what was like that transition like from focusing on the rap music to no joke? Like, okay, you want me to be completely honest? Yeah, it's the fact that the, most of these rap niggas be broke as fuck. They'll be lit for a couple months and fall off, and then like you never hear from them, even at the biggest level. So I'm like, what about all the niggas that were like in the middle? They were like, in like, was it in limbo? Is called or something like? like they're literally the behind the. Like, just think about that. Like, think about if we laugh at a nigga like Smoke Perp, who was low key big as fuck back then. Think about the nigga that had a couple hundred thousand plays, maybe a million. Like, where's that nigga at now? Right. I can name names of artists that I used to fuck with heavy back then when I started rapping. That I couldn't tell you if they were even alive right now. Like, I haven't. Haven't heard from them, haven't seen none of their music. The most thing that I remember about them is if a random song of theirs comes on shuffle on SoundCloud. Oh fuck. Right, yeah. I remember this guy. Like, so if I would have focused, I mean, who's to say? Maybe I would have focused on the music more, would have been Lil Baby. Who knows? Yeah. But <laughs> like, I this is more natural to me than going to the eat, breathe, going to the studio. Yeah, I'm sleeping in the studio. Babe, I'm not coming home tonight. I'm in the stew. Like I'm wearing the same Amiris for four days. I'm locked in the booth. Like, nigga, I want to go home. Like, I'm not fuck. I'm not trying. To, like, rapping is like a brain exercise too. It's like, nigga, I'm not like, I don't know. I'm not trying to work my brain out that much. Damn, that's weird. So, do you feel like blogs? That's how. Wait, wait, wait. That's how I felt back then. Right. And then I just realized that like, the podcast shit would make me more money. Like, I bit, you know what I, okay, I really felt that I had put so much work in already with No Jumper, and I was so recognizable from No Jumper that I might as well stay, continue to build it, and like, be more involved and make more money from it. Right. I'm like, why would I just leave something that I, can't, like, I won't say that I helped build, but like, right. I definitely added aspects to it, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, with like, when you think about the most, like, why would I just throw that away, you know? Most popular characters on the show is like, obviously Adam, you, you got, um, now you got AD going crazy. T-Row. T-Row, yeah. Blasey, fucking Flocko just started going. Oh man, Flocko. Hey, man.